good morning so i'm creating this um video really quick i'm a mess because it's morning and i just literally got up and um i've been getting a lot of messages from some of my on calls and of course uh patreons because of the, what's going on in the world now spirit said and i would have to go relook at the predictions that were, were shared in um i think it was more towards the closing of last year maybe the beginning of this year but um, <clears throat> we did talk about, you know, the chaos that was going to occur, but how you needed to stay away from the chaos. And I've also been sharing a lot of how to take care of yourself and put yourself first energy. Now, I always quote uh, Walt's movie Tomorrowland because of the whole basics of the movie is spoiler alert. So if you don't want to know what the movie's about and you want to go watch it, I suggest you fast forward. The whole point of the movie is how we are co-creators of the universe. And it's the perfect example is if you're around, if all the apples are together and one apple is rotten, eventually all the apples will rot. You have to separate the rotten apple from all the good apples or it's going to spread. So within that energy, I know it's a, it, that's it's a metaphor, but it's actually physically, scientifically tested that if you put it wrong, you know, any, any vegetable, any fruit that you put, you know, a bag of potatoes, you know, how many times have we had potatoes in our, you know, vegetable drawer and if they're bad or a, a onion or whatever, and all the other stuff gets bad, you know, eventually you have to just discard of everything. So in Tomorrowland, um, it was a beautiful, beautiful movie. You know, it talks about the Imagineers, which is, I've always felt like I was an Imagineer. I'm, you know, my work, my line of work is about optimism, is about sharing, you know, how to be optimistic and spreading the word of love, of joy, of bliss. You know, if you look at all of my videos, I'm not here telling you the world is going to end or uh, the wars. It, you know, I'm not telling you all that stuff. Unfortunately, the controllers are losing control. They're losing control to the people because we see through them very easily. On, on a positive note, we could take that and create changes. But a lot of the individuals uh, that have lower vibrations that have, live with fear, right? And all of us have fear. Fear is an emotion. Fear is meant for us to acknowledge when something is wrong so we could fix it, right? But if we allow fear to feed us in everything that we do, then it's not really living. We're always in chaos. We're always in, I can't do this because it's not going to work. You know, I always tell people, like a lot of people come to me and I'm like, well, why haven't you done that? Well, why haven't you tried this? I'm like, I'm scared it's not going to manifest. I'm scared they're going to say no. You know, I'm afraid that I'm not going to get this. But then you'll never know. So what is the point? Wouldn't you rather know if you are going to get it? You know, like, who's to say that you will get it unless you try? You know, the, that's the reason why the 1% of the world is truly successful. And even less than that lives in bliss is because they push. There's, it's not that they're fearless because a lot of people are, oh, you're fearless. Oh, no, we have fear. It's just that we do not allow fear to steer our ship. So I asked uh, the angels and spirits to just kind of like share, you know, what's going on? How do we act through this chaos? And the first thing they shed was trigger. Now, even before looking at the messages, trigger would be, don't trigger yourself. Um, I love social media. And at the same time, I dislike social media. Why? Because social media is a is it's a venue where people want to get attention. Humans are very needy. Uh, me, 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 me. Take care of me. Look at me. Look what I do. You know that type of energy. What I use social media for is to learn, um, of course, to see my my grandchildren. You know, because we don't live in the in the same. Um, we don't live close together. So you know, it's it's you know. A platform of sharing with family with friends you know um, yes I have my business social media and if you look at it I share what my business um, I don't post negativity 
I don't look at negativity. And unfortunately, like platforms like TikTok that you really don't control what you see, it's just constantly flowing. Um, even in the news today, they were saying that a bunch of the stuff that they're posting on TikTok about Ukraine is baloney. It's like old videos from like 2015, 2016 that they are uploading saying it's them and how they're, you know, it's it's really sad that people are so needy for attention that they're portraying fear. And the reason why my channel, I want it to grow in such a way is because I want to share with you guys that you don't want to live in fear. You don't want to live in chaos. You know, it's going to occur. We all have fear. You know, my husband, like he is, um, you know, er sales are down everywhere. You know, I have, um, cause I have an Etsy shop and I have my webpage and you know, we've all noticed that, um, you know, talking to, you know, like-minded Etsy shop owners that have said, Hey, you know, due to inflation, due to things, you know, sales are down. But then what do I do? Um, I research things. Well, how can we work together? How can we feed the economy? How can we take care of one another? And one of the beautiful things that we did as creators starting with COVID was that we stopped going. I mean, we couldn't go out, right? We couldn't go to Walmart. We couldn't, yeah, we could order online and, and places like Walmart and Amazon, you know, took advantage of that. But through Amazon FBA, you have people like you and me that are selling their stuff online. You know, so you are still taking care of the small stores, you know, like even Walmart now is a platform where people sell their items online. So you're not, you're not taking care of the big hungry country. Um, I mean, you are because they're still going through them. So they're still getting money, but it's not about greed. It's not about, oh, I don't want Walmart to make money. I don't want you to misinterpret that. I want you to seek how to take care of one another. One of the main things that I noticed was how farms, farmers, farmers markets, all those places, they're not really yet at a place where they make a lot of prosperity because we the people rather go to the supermarket than actually wait for a Friday or Sunday, go to the local farmers market and order, you know, you know, things from local growers. You know, you're feeding a family. Like, come on, people. It's not that hard. And even better, now they have Misfits. I don't know if you guys have heard of Misfits, but it's a low, it's an online app that you grow, that you order, and they send you, they'll look for all the markets, all the farms around you, and they create these boxes full of vegetables and fruits and stuff. You know, of course, you depict like what you like. It's really, really great. And it's, I think it's like 20 something dollars and I don't know about you, but a box lasts me a few weeks, so it's like amazing. And you get to taste stuff that you've never tasted before, so you're incorporating, you know, healthy stuff into your life, you know? So there's ways for us to take care of one another. So instead of focusing on the negativity of the world, and you know, let's, let's see, okay, so, you know, I get the whole thing with Ukraine, so our mindset should be, okay, what can I do? Maybe I have clothes that I could, you know, get together and, and cause I'm sure that they're going to start, you know, gathering stuff and supplies for the people. So that's what you have to look at. What, what print can you have on helping? So instead of living in fear and I'm going to lose my business and focusing on you, shift your energy and focus on how you could help because the universe is a universe of abundance. And in all of my years of research, I've noticed that the wealthy, the smart ones, Warren Buffett, Fitzgerald, Carnegie, all of them became millionaires when the world was at its worst. Because what occurs is when inflation gets to a certain pivotal point, everybody's like, well, I'm not going to pay. You know, they're talking about gas prices could go all the way to $10. And your fear is like, oh my God, I can't do this. Um, don't take your car, find transportation. You know, if it gets to the point that you could take a bus, you could carpool with friends, like there people, there's, there's creative ways for you to get out of your, your holes and your situations. Then another thing is it sparks anger, right? Because you're angry that the controllers are just like, you know, there's many times that I just read into them 
and these people are psychotic like they're narcissists they're they only see what they want to see and everything else is wrong you know i mean we don't have to go far look at how many controllers we've witnessed i mean in my lifetime i've witnessed you know um bin laden which to this day i feel like he was a myth <laughs> um was what was the other one the the colombian cartel guy i mean and like i tell you because i don't know anything about this because i kind of look at it i learn from it but i let it go you know instead of complaining about the situations look for ways for you to help the situation you know instead of fear of losing your business find yourself a part-time job that you could feed your business and also take care of your bills there is a solution for everything so if you're gonna melt in your couch you know you're not taking actions you're just feeding the fear and that is that is not what you want you want to come out of that shell and rearrange if you are filled with anger or fear I always tell you guys what do you listen to my house I have positive music all the time um, I can't put the jazz because unfortunately it's a copyright crap with YouTube um, I always have my candles I, I'm always doing my singing bowls I'm starting to do healing altars um, because of a client you, you guys teach me you know through your needs I create magic so I had a client who her beloved um, is having major anxiety issues he's had severe um, childhood trauma and unfortunately when we're a child that's our innocent stage that is when that's why they say that children are sponges that's when we are absorbing all that is around us so if we are around toxic people or worse that we're being abused all that becomes embedded into our system subconsciously and consciously so it's really hard unless we work on it we face it and decide okay that is not my definition that is an experience that I have but some people can't I have a brother and you know we grew up in the same household with the same crap and his he has never been able to get out of that childhood trauma state he's never been able to let that go he always goes back into that that shell and it's hard because some, you know some of us our minds do not kind of evolve to that extent because of fear because of lack of courage um, so that's why I work so closely with the angels because you know personally it has saved me and made me the influencer of that I am to be able to share this wisdom and this knowledge now the energy um, that I got was of course the energy of trigger I love this so if you look at at the pictures it's a bunch of different individuals in their own sacred spaces we create our own sacred space I learned that from Jack Canfield uh, Jack Canfield bought his of course his, you know he has money but he don't always have money Jack Canfield I remember he said that he wanted to make his first um, was it a hundred thousand I don't remember it was something I absolutely love listening to that story and he says that he got a check you know and he wrote the amount you know to him the amount that he wanted and he put it up on his ceiling so every night when he went to bed he would see that and visualize that and he did get you know that check you know he says it was a little short it was like you know 80 or 90 thousand dollars but he couldn't believe it it's like absolutely amazing when you take that first step and you manifest that first you know um how do how do I say that first um, manifestation that first little bit you know and hundred thousand dollars in the 90s was amazing you know early 90s it, today is like it's okay <laughs> because everything is like the prices are so high that you need to make a lot more right but still you know going from 30,000 let's say because some people like teachers are still only making 40 to 50,000 a year it's horrible um, especially when your households are over four thousand dollars a month so and then add the kids and whatever 
but instead of looking that I was like oh my god I can't do it and like my dad and I and I fall into that paradigm too don't get me wrong my dad will call me up and be like the government I can't believe it they're doing this and because he's always complaining about his like insurance and how the doctors suck and I just think the doctors and, and I'm sorry if you're from Miami but I think like the doctors down there in Miami like really suck because I look at my my doctors here where I'm at and they're magnificent I just I even I remember telling my doctor I was like like I've never been besides the midwife that I had when I had my son and my daughter amazing amazing doctors so it just all depends you have to do your research you will have to find because I've had ugly doctors that I remember I was 37 and I had to have gallbladder surgery and my doctor was like two so he said oh you're premenopausal I was like 37 relax I'm not premenopausal I'm having pain oh that's premenopause like they want to like you know you have to understand we're all human what's a doctor someone to write a book someone who went to school and read a book that's it you know yeah they did a lot of research they have to take classes they have to go into internships hands-on but that doesn't mean that they know everything so you have to create your own bliss find the right doctor find the right home find the right job and you know go to work in love you know be in a home that's sacred don't allow negativity in your sacred space you know I you know I try to even when I talk to my dad now to kind of get him out of that mood I will talk about a really good movie that I saw or you know I don't know what was I watching the other day that it was really pretty and I told him I don't remember and I was like oh we should watch this and so we'll start talking about that he loves fishing so we'll talk about fishing to kind of change that conversation from negative to positive because they're your parents or your siblings or people that are always injected in your lives not like you could say no I'm not gonna talk to you because you're too negative you know so looking at that beautiful vibration um, it says the occurrences or circumstances in your life may affect you on a deep level and be stored in your memory as wounds or triggers exactly what spirit just told you your ego can be become defensive defensive due to the emotional wounds you carry with you once a wrongdoing has happened in your life it cannot be undone but but you choose how to handle the outcome there's no single situation you cannot overcome and once you start seeing your life like the things instead of they're doing them to you you see them as an experience to low learn and grow from and move and that's not gonna happen to me again from here you can choose to accept responsibility for your emotions and your triggers when you neutralize the stories from your past they lose their grip on your present happiness so when you not allow that anger from something that was done to you in the past influence your now moment you have taken back control of your life and you have regained your power you have reconnected uh, with your your inner goddess you know your divine you know perfect being of light the bubbles in this image represent memories and stories from the past once they no longer have energy or trigger they will pop and disappear that is such that's such a great ideal is to see those you know situations experiences circumstances individuals in bubbles and visionary pop them like see them you know go 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 and see them to get to a certain extent and then just pop and disappear because that's what happens to bubbles I mean if you ever played with bubbles when you were a kid it was so much fun watching them and sometimes they would land on you and pop so you know this is this is a great way for you to harness your power by accepting what was and letting it go when you're ready because that's another thing sometimes we have to learn from the experiences and um, expand from them and you know when we're ready to move to move past uh, the situations and the circumstances now the next card that we got was the magician absolutely love the magician and this is the reason why I created this video which is so funny but that's the card that comes out now when shit is ugly is when you have to be aligned with your needs wants and desires the world is in chaos 
you need to be on your top game because let me tell you that is super radiant manifesting energy we just had the 222 energy major portals have opened do not allow the darkness to sever what you are trying to accomplish that's why the magician came out and he talks about alchemy he says when i am in alignment with spirit's will miracles are possible when i see this card i'm reminded that my will and my skill alone will yield limited results when i remember my partnership with spirit all is well i'm required to explore my commitment to this co-creative alchem alchemical relationship and see the results manifest beautifully through me spirit works magic so i follow on instagram i think i forgot her their name they're like i think it's like witches of insta or something and she posts the cutest like memes and something that she says was um she says something like um when you're melting and everything is in chaos and then you have that epiphany oh my god i'm a witch and you go and manifest the outcome that you desire and i feel like as a human we all have that magic i feel like no i know that we all have that manifesting magic within us because we are creating the divine's image so we have our moments that we're like melting and oh my gosh i can't do this and it's too much and it's overwhelming and then we have that moment where we're like wait a minute no, 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 no. I got this. I'm awesome. I'm a goddess. I can manifest and have anything I want and anything I desire. That house is mine. You know? The car is mine. That perfect health is mine. Whatever it is you desire materially, spiritually, physically, you know, that relationship is mine. You know, it's like, I, and I've been wanting to do my 20, my manifestations to share with you um, like what I've asked for and what I've manifested. I don't like to do that because I feel like I still bring in a lot of people that um, are not there yet. And I don't want to make them feel like, you know, sometimes unfortunately people become like, they feel bad because they haven't gotten what they receive and they see other people getting certain things. They're like, well, not, not why not me? So that's why I feel like I stay away from sharing like what I manifest. I don't know. It could just be mental. <laughs> now, we got strength. Love it. Absolutely love it. The energy of strength is beautiful. And he is a tiger, which this is the year of the water tiger. He's talking about courage. He's talking about taking flight. And, and exactly what the magician is saying is you don't allow anything to hinder your progress. You need to stay in alignment. If you're angry, take, you know, that, stay away from caffeine, you know, lavender baths, lavender oil, spiritual music, not allowing any negative tensions and energies around you that are going to trigger that anger that, you know, because... Again, anger is an emotion that is great when you're like, per se, depressed and you want to break through, but it's not good when it's kind of pushing you to act in ways that are going to sabotage. You know, a lot of, a lot of negative things are done through anger. Like what's going on in the world is due to hatred and anger. So you have to not allow that energy to influence over you and take control over you. You have to be in control. So unexpected changes can leave you feeling unstable. Exactly what we're talking about. Anxious. And it's the most important thing right now is for you to have a normal human response, which could be the anger trigger. Reclaim your life and tap into your wisdom. Connect to the strength of your heart and mind. Believe in yourself. It says, your strength shows up in different ways, such as power, positive attitude, trust, self-resilience, courage. It is encouraging reflection and appraisal of yourself that makes you feel moral, competent, and bold. I find that um, a great thing to do is to go to the mirror. You know, do your makeup, um, brush your hair. <laughs> My hair is a disaster. <laughs> but just so you could feel good about yourself. Um, I find that my happy in it, my happiest times are when I'm co-creating with spirit and creating magic and 
I'm sharing them with you guys and I still haven't put the, the launching video all together. Um, but it's just, it's a lot of fun. And right now I am writing, just like I had said with you guys, I'm actually working on different projects. The angel um, videos are, should be all out. So you guys could take this moment to manifest with the angels. And you know, it's a great time to do that. Um, my two two twos got this beautiful meditation that they absolutely loved. I had one girl says that she did it a few times and every time she got like different energies and colors and she was just like in awe with the whole experience. So, you know, it's about staying, staying on your path, staying on, on your course and just aligning with your desires, like not allowing anything or anyone to sever that. Truth is everything. Think before you act. Work on the universal laws with clear intention. I mean, everything that's coming out for you is about that. It's about not allowing everything that's going on to stop you from manifesting what it is that you desire. Do I see how the foundation of the past affects the present and future? We do. We see something that I've learned and I thought about yesterday is my mom has always had a huge influence on me and two major pivotal points and things in my life of manifestations she has put fear into me um because of her dogma because of her traditions and has um kind of put that fear into me and then i reacted a certain way and created changes that if i that if i would have instead taken them and acted upon them they would have you know done beautiful positive outcomes for me right now i can i'm not gonna blame her because yes she did influence me but i'm the one who took the action i could have been like no so about two years ago pre-covid right before covid or maybe during covid i don't remember i think it was one of the first videos that i started putting here so about two or three years ago um my great grandmother um showed up vividly in my lucid plane so sometimes your ancestors will not show up physically because you know so my spiritual realm is really really important to me because that's where i get a lot of insights and when your ancestors are in another plane they do come to visit you give you advice and sometimes you could tap into their energies and connect with them so um, she came to me and she said tell your mom that you're okay tell her to do her own and leave you alone and my great grandmother has always been like that she's like very firm you know she was a white witch and and I told and it was really hard for me to tell my mom I go look mom because you know my mom would always fall into the same you know ideals and you know don't do this and this is wrong yada yada and I said I had a you know I, I was visited by my great grandmother through my lucid dream and she said to let me do myself and you do yourself and what i am doing is fine stop trying to hinder me and my mom's like hmm. <laughs> you know <laughs> so you know of course she she wasn't happy about it because every now and again she would like you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that you know and of course i don't share it with my mom all of my stuff she you know because it got to the point that it's just like and that's a lesson for you too. If you have people around you that are going to, no matter who they are, they're going to influence you negatively over what you are trying to accomplish, don't tell them what you're doing. Just don't tell them. Definitely don't have them on your social media. So, you know, it's about what you love. It's about your life. It's not your mom's life. It's not your spouse's life. It's about your life. Are you living in your authentic loving self are you doing what you love and if you're not this is the year of changes my friend this is the year of actions and if you don't take these actions if you're dying because the news says that oh my god the world is going into a collapsion yada 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 then you're just part of that paradigm but if you are knowing that you are perfect divine being of light that you co-create and manifest the things that you desire and that you're not allowing anything or anyone influence over you then you're fine if you need to get away from social media get away from social media turn it off and it's okay i hope this brought a lot of insights i still have modifications how to modify your life 
and the king of water talks about flow um we will be doing water magic i think the king of water just reminded me that so i have a lot to share with you guys but i'm also working on a lot of magic because the energy regardless how everybody thinks is chaotic is actually really stronghold for manifestations and my make-a-wish oil should be up on the shop soon i will share eventually the video that shares all like this video yeah took me a little while to to put together um because i know like everybody's been talking about the whole chaos and whatever i just wherever you are focus on you love you love your surroundings create your bliss create your sacred space and don't allow negativity to hinder your progress.